Yo, what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel in this video we are looking at the price picks plays for thursday january the 26th we have a six game slate today there's a few games posted i have a handful of props i want to share with you guys uh five to be exact let's get started yesterday some props hit some you know fell short weren't able to get a sweep or anything like that Murray went over 20 and a half. Curry went over 27 and a half. Irving went over 40 and a half. And Gary Trent went over his PRA. So just a couple that missed were Van Fleet missed and Mike Conley missed. So it was four and two day out of the six yesterday. I have five today. Let's try to go four and one, if not better. As always, if you enjoy the videos, appreciate it if the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out Twitter. Stay connected. It's at the DFS process. You can check out the site if you're into DraftKings and FanDuel advice there. So, first prop we're looking at is taking an assist prop, and I'm taking Jason Tatum. North of five assists. This is a uh, good, a decent matchup, I'd say, against the Knicks. I and mean, Knicks are still good defensively, but you know, these teams have faced each other numerous times over the last few years being in the same division. If we look at Tatum's assists recently, he's it's been an uptick. He's been playing really well recently. He's averaging six in his last five games, and a lot of that has been without Marcus Smart there. We know Smart will handle the ball. He will get assists. He's not known for his scoring. So without Smart there, you'll see the ball in Tatum's hands a little bit more and Jalen Brown's hands a little bit more. And they should lead to more assists for these guys. So it's just one of those reasons where you have an injured player who does typically get a lot of assists in Marcus Smart. That's going to pivot to Tatum, and we're still getting a good number. Even with with Smart in a lot of the games before that, Tatum was still having games with you know, a handful of assists. He's had you know, on the season, I believe he's averaging right around five assists per game. And if you're taking Smart out, I like the, the chances that he'll be able to get at least five, if not more. For the second prop we're looking at today is... This one, I'm going over to the points prop. And I'm kind of taking uh, Jalen Brunson less than 23.5 points. He's He had a great stretch with um, with RJ Barrett out for most of that, where he was putting up 25-plus regularly. He's cool. Come back down to earth the last few games. And it's, not, it's kind of compiled with the Knicks just being healthy, except for Mitchell Robinson. The matchup is not easy against Boston. He's faced them. Only one time this year as a Nick faced him a good amount of times with the the Mavs in his previous years, and he hasn't gotten over 24 points in any of the games against him. This year he fell, he had just in the low 20s in points. You need 24. I'll take my chances that you know Randall has another scoring night or Barrett comes out and plays a little better today. I'm taking under 23 and a half points on Jalen Brunson. Next prop we're looking at is uh, points, rebounds, and assists. This one, I'm going over to Phoenix and taking Chris Paul over 28 and a half. Now, Paul's finally back. It looks like Devin Booker's still going to be out a week. So they need Paul to step up and keep them at least in striking distance in the Western Conference to make the playoffs. You know, missing all those guys that led to the Suns just free frawling for about a month, month and a half. Now that Paul's back, his last two games, he's played 38. Last game just played 27 minutes, uh, just with I believe it was a blowout. Uh, but he still had a he still gave you 30 PRA in those minutes. He lost like 10 minutes than he normally would have played. Not having Booker, it's at home against Dallas. Uh, I think this number will get bumped throughout the day. It's one I like. He's gonna get you a lot of assists. Gonna have to shoot and score a little bit better and more just without Booker there. And then the rebounds. He's had five and six the first two games back. Next, we're going over to points and rebounds. This one, I'm taking Julius Randle once again. I mean, he's been great to me, uh, so I like kind of just staying with him, especially when he's hot like he is right now. Last game, eight three-pointers made, crushed this number. Going up against Boston, they're still tougher defensively, but there should be back to starting Al Horford, so it should be a better spot for Randle to get out to a good start and then Hopefully, he's like taking his rest when Robert Williams comes back in. But nonetheless, Randall is going to be able to stretch Williams out to the three-point line, which is not where he wants to be. Uh, he's been crashing the glass. He's been one of the best rebounders over the last, well, basically the whole year, especially over the last couple of months. And over the last week, it's been even better without Mitchell Robinson there. 
So 13 rebounds, 19, 9, 15, 15, 15, 16, 16, 16. Go back to his last handful of games. All, all those games he scored you know, pretty well. He's had a couple low-scoring games mixed in there. But at this number, if he's going to continue to give you like 13 to 15 rebounds, you're just going to need him to score in the low 20s or mid-20s to kind of hit this over. And with how much he's been carrying the Knicks this year, and with how aggressive he is and how many minutes he plays, I feel like he'll be right around this number. So that's why I'm taking the over. So those are the four props. And then the final one is taking a points and assist prop. Going over to Dallas, and I'm taking Spencer Dinwiddie to get us twenty over 23.5 um, points and assist. reason I like him once again today is the minutes have just been upticked. Uh, from the start of the season where he was playing in the low 20s or in the mid 20s and now he's continuously playing in the the mid 30s Christian Wood they haven't had an update on his status yet he could return today but it's not 100 percent I'm not sure they haven't announced that yet they said he was about he was gonna miss a week it's been about a week but if he's out again today it'll just be more scoring to go around for Dinwiddie he's been getting more assists recently just with playing more minutes so eight assists last game five the game before Tough matchup against Miami where he just gave you 19 points and 2 assists. But before that, 27 combined points and assists. He had a game before that, 37, 30. Uh, so going back to about two weeks ago, he's been right around this number. He's had a lot of 20-plus scoring performances. Scored at least 20 points in five of his last six games. And he's played at least 33 minutes in all of those games except for one against Miami. So he's a, a pretty good fantasy player, you know, being a compliment next to Luka Doncic. When Luka's taking his rest, you have to have Dinwiddie in there. He can facilitate, score a little bit, be a little more aggressive. I like this number. Could get bumped, but those are the five I'm looking at today. Over five assists, Jason Tatum. Under 23.5 points, Jalen Brunson. Over 28.5 PRA on Chris Paul. Over 37.5 points and rebounds on Julius Randle. And over 23 and a half points and assist on Spencer Dinwiddie. Let me know if you guys have other questions, especially once they post the rest of the props. But thanks for watching. Best of luck, and I'll catch you all next time.